Hello everyone and welcome to the Daily Tactics Star Wars Tournament. 16 Star Wars characters from various movies will compete to find out who is the toughest in the galaxy. Each battle will be composed of various rules to make it interesting. Some with infantry only, some with weapon restrictions, or anything else you could possibly imagine. Each match will be as equal in terms of numbers and positioning as possible within game restrictions. But one thing's for sure, the warfare will be epic. So without further ado, here are this week's contestants. The end of the semifinals of the Star Wars Mod Tournament is being fought by Boba Fett and Commander Keller. Commander Keller is going to be assisted by the Galactic Marines once more in this episode, as they have yet to steer him wrong in previous battles. The same goes with Boba Fett, who will be once more fighting with Mandalorian troopers at his side. But both sides will be utilizing light speeders to aid them in their fight. This battle will decide who will fight against Arc Trooper Echo in the finals of the Star Wars Mod Tournament. So strap in and get ready for some excitement. Hey, what's up you bad Larrys? It's your boy Daily Tactics here and today we are back with another episode of the Star Wars Mod Tournament. This is the semi-finals, the second game in the semi-finals. Um, and next battle will be the finals, so it's going to be Arc Trooper Echo versus whoever wins in this battle. And the two options are Commander Keller over here with the 21st Nova Corps, looking spicy as ever. And over here we have Boba Fett with uh, Mandalorian Troopers himself. It's going to be a spicy, spicy battle. Uh, both sides have, uh, let's see, so there's 20 Troopers in each group. They both have 4, 5, 6, so that's 120. 120, so there's 240 Troopers on the field for them uh, with uh, 120 each. And then we have 50 Speeders at a piece over here and this is like a separate battle but I mean the outcome will affect the final battle because uh, these speeders are gonna clash right down the middle here duke it out and then likely go and join this battle over here when they're done fighting so whoever wins the speeder battle will have vehicle advantages going into the second half of this battle there are troopers down in this encampment here and here and then also on this second high-rise over here there's more troopers for both sides so it's a very multi-layered tier battle and it'll be really interesting to see sort of what happens during it so without further ado guys i will be right back and we'll get this shindig started okay guys i think the first place we should check it out is the uh the middle here or sorry the left side over here with the speeders and we should go ahead and press start with slow-mo on because speeders do happen to move quite quite fast so here we go they're all gutting it towards the middle here's the mandalorians over here and the 21st nova Corps over this way actually some of the mandalorians in this uh village firing at the 21st nova Corps speeders fair play fair play gotta say if they're gonna um play like that why not i mean it's a good move but here we go first casualties occurring between this inner speeder battle over here all right this is a little slow let's let's bump it up um and oh my god just explosions these things are getting torn to shreds both instances of these speeders both types are really weak actually they're they're not good vehicles in all honesty they're good recon vehicles um but you know speeders in this are very fragile it leaves their pilots completely open if you can call them pilots um operators i guess and um just the structure of them aren't the strongest so you end up with um pretty flimsy vehicles in total let's check out what's going on in the middle over here uh looks like we got a large clash over here in sort of this open bit where both sides have taken extreme losses and then towards the middle it looks like uh clones have taken cover over this way and mandalorians have done the same over here um quite the clash going on though not the band although i do like the band here's commander keller he's still alive that's good to see let's check and make sure boba fett's still alive hopefully he is i'd like to see him last a little longer in this battle if we can um i am not seeing him currently but i also don't see him amongst the dead so it's a very likely case that uh, boba fett's still alive oh there he is he's right there he's actually sort of leading a bit of a charge here with his troopers um they're sort of gunning it forward and taking the action to commander keller's troopers uh meanwhile commander keller's troopers are taking a much more defensive position and boba fett goes down uh due to this 
Uh, 21st Nova Corps Recon Trooper here. Getting a bit of lag. This happened on this map last time we used it. I think it, in general this map is just a smidge laggy. Grenade going out. Devastating effects as it kills three Nova Troopers and sort of dismantles their defensive position over here. There's still this opposite side over here though still left alive. Uh, it looks like there's also some troopers down here still too. Commander Keller has gone down in the fray so both leaders are currently down for the count. Um, but there's always the opportunity for them to come back later on um, in the next battle because it doesn't matter if the leaders die. Uh, it only matters if their troops win, you know? Alright, full-on brawl going on over here. Both sides taking heavy losses. The 21st Nova Corps is clearly in a tight spot, though, as they're just getting trashed on by these uh, Mandalorian soldiers. But they're they're doing a good fight. They're, they're taking out quite a number of them. That was a hefty grenade right there. I don't know how this trooper is still alive, in all honesty. He's still getting kills, but he finally does go down. Um, so it seems like over here, the... Um, 21st Nova Corps won the speeder battle, but down the middle, the Mandalorians just barely won this battle. They've got a few troopers left. And then over here, this battle is still raging hard, though it does seem like the 21st Nova Corps has taken many more losses than the Mandalorians have. Not that the Mandalorians haven't taken any losses, um, but it does seem like the 21st Nova Corps, just by the pile of bodies over here, has taken more. So things aren't exactly looking fantastic for the 21st Nova Corps in total because um, right now they're sort of being pushed back into these defensive positions very early in the battle. Uh, never a good thing and the Mandalorians are just managing to really push on them hard. Not good. Um, the speeders over here also, I'm almost positive. Let's let's dis let's um, dismount all speeder units because yeah, all of them have repair wrenches on them basically or they're like stuck so the speeders are essentially useless um so we might as well just dismantle or dis dismount is the word i'm looking for dismount all of the speeders so um they're at least doing something in this battle because right now they're just sitting there why not all right so speeder troopers are turning into um infantry troopers real quick here and it looks like they are engaging with the mandalorians from the village over there actually getting a lot of shots off from this uh, high ground position and uh, looks like they might be getting a few kills not bad not bad but the mandalorians are firing back with their own weapons and of course the speeder units really only have smgs which are not good at a distance meanwhile the um mandalorians have a mix of smgs and rifles so they'll have the upper hand during this uh this attack, though it does seem like the speeder units do outnumber the Mandalorian, so that's good to know. Uh, let's check back in over here. Looks like a little bit more action has um, transpired. A couple more dead Mandalorians than we saw before. More Mandalorians actually pushing their way up this route, um, and these guys are just sort of lying in wait for them, so this could be disastrous for the Mandalorians if these guys maintain their position, but they're squirming around a little bit. I don't know about that. You guys should just stay behind those barrels, you know, stay behind cover. Um, doesn't matter though because these Mandalorians have a very bad position having to come up this hill now. They should never have given up their upper position and gone down that way because now look at them. They're, they're taking so many losses up here and the 21st Nova Corps is evening the odds a little bit. Um, nice grenade going out there. That was a primo grenade. That soldier does end up going down. Uh, but that grenade does do some nice damage against the Mandalorians. Way to go, buddy. Um, meanwhile, the rest of these guys are still up here. Let's see if the Mandalorians, I believe in them. They can push up here, and there's only like five troopers really standing in their way here. The problem is Mandalorians aren't getting any shots off. So maybe if they pushed out this route instead of hugging this wall, they'd be better off. But for now, that's their, their main goal plan, though. Um, they still have more troopers down here, though. And uh, actually, the 21st Nova Corps troopers still chilling up here. Um... Tides are kind of turning during this battle, and I'd say it's mainly because of all the losses the Mandalorians have very recently taken right here. This has definitely crippled their army a little bit. So, uh, we'll see. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a definitely an interesting change, because before we were seeing the Mandalorians just absolutely crushing the 21st Nova Corps, pushing them way, way far back this way. And I mean, there's still really not that many 21st Nova Corps troopers, um, and they completely wiped them out down here with Commander Keller's forces getting crippled down here. But now the Mandalorians are kind of stuck in this position where they're having a lot of trouble pushing their way up here. Oh god, 21st Nova Corps troopers pushing the advantage for some reason. I can't, 
say that's the smartest move as they just lost a bunch of troopers but they did come out on top once more and I think they killed man more Mandalorians than they lost um I still don't know about pushing out that way if they if they just maintain that same position they would still be on top here but that was a good grenade so I guess I can't really complain how on earth did you get up here sir and now he's out okay I'm not gonna question it more grenades going off over here as more Mandalorians get killed in this just absolutely horrific area. But now there's only one 21st Nova Corps trooper actually watching this area. This guy's sort of learned, uh, turned the other way. So if they push right now and overwhelm this one trooper, they could finally get that position back and possibly make some more progress. Let's see if the Mandalorians can do it. They're advancing forward. One guy does make a break for it. He comes around here. No, he gets shot before he can really sort of figure things out. But this guy's pushed forward? What is happening? Why did you do that, 21st Nova Corps? That was so dumb. There's also a trooper over here who's like leaning over and getting some shots off, but he himself is getting shot too. Oh, this is this is big plays for the Mandalorians. They finally made it back up here, killing the majority of those 21st Nova Corps troopers who totally choked. Oh my goodness. Mandalorian push going on right now. Just uh, creaming these... Uh, these clone troopers if these guys come up and do some backup for these guys this could be the end of the 21st Nova Corps do, do these guys even need the backup though because they're they're absolutely owning right now okay that guy goes down but they they got so many kills holy cow these two are absolute pros there's still about 10 21st Nova Corps troopers wedged over here uh, looks like a couple more over here sorry about my windows by the way banging um, another windy day up on the hill um, and then there's still these guys over here, but they're not really moving anywhere. Oh, and there's more speeders over this way. We'll eject them like we did the rest. Should we bring the speeder units forward? Because I think they're just sort of stuck over here. So we'll bring the, the speeder units forward. I mean, they might not be able to do anything, but it'll be interesting. And then, as a courtesy, we'll do the same for the Mandalorians and finally bring these troopers forward too, because they seem to have been stuck themselves. Oh my god, 21st Nova Corps coming out right now and going to join the Mandalorians on ground level. These Mandalorians, though, now they have the advantage. Oh, not quite, actually. Ooh, the beatdown on that Mandalorian. Okay, so those ones, they got a kill, but they themselves got killed pretty quick there. Um, let's stop these guys from running in that position, just out of fairness. We'll just make them stop right there, because I did move them, so they'll... They, they're free to just do whatever they like now. Um, because that was before when the battle wasn't really going anywhere and I wanted to uh, to help it out a little bit. But now this seems about right. Um, these guys engaging with the Mandalorians right now. Seems like they're doing a little tit for tat. A couple of kills that they're getting. Mandalorians getting a couple kills too. Um, nothing too devastating for either side. These guys have a nice little setup over here. Let's see. Are the speeder guys in town now? What happened to those speeder guys? Oh, they chose to just keep on sticking around there. All right, that's fine, I suppose. <laughs> Don't back up your bros. That's fine. Just uh, just stay there. Actually, the Mandalorians haven't taken a loss yet over here. Interesting, interesting. All right. Very well. Let's see if the... Uh, Clones can get some kills here. If the Mandalorians push forward around this way, clones will be in a nice position to just hammer them with some fire, but it's kind of doubtful the Mandalorians will do that. That seems like a very naive thing to do. Uh, okay, they're pushing out. They're getting into that zone, um, but they're pushing out in force and firing as they do so, taking out the clones quite effectively. So... That was the play by the Mandalorians. That was very, very well played. They only took one loss. Oh, no, that guy's still alive even. Okay. Um, so now... Oh, wait. There's one last trooper up here. <laughs> Buddy, what are you doing? He's got a kill. That's not bad. What's up with these guys, too? We're ready for battle, sir. Are they, like, stuck or something? I think these guys can't get over the hill. There you go. There you go. What about you guys? What's... Oh, this this guy's still on the speeder. Alright, now can you move out? There we go. Alright, so... We'll send these guys to the center of town, just so they can partake in the battle, but it's looking a little bad for the clones now. They had that advantage, but coming down this way totally ruined them. 
And now the Mandalorians once more hold hold the winning position. But we you know, we've seen the tides turn before. Could see it again here. This guy's engaging with the Mandalorians alone. It's like eight Mandalorians versus one clone. He's taking a lot of fire. He's trying to duck behind these rocks, get a little fire out. He's a brave soul, but I don't see him, see him coming out of this on top in the slightest. He's reloading here, but he gets gunned down before he can even finish reloading. Here come the cavalry, literally, except they don't have their vehicles. <laughs> um, and it seems like they are not going to engage. You can see them right there. Just do our job. give them a little fire. There you go. Now the battle should start once more. Okay, so... Sort of last scraps of clones engaging with the Mandalorians. They're taking cover amongst here. The Mandalorians just sort of standing out in the open, gunning at them. Clones, once again, their um, they're troopers here don't have the greatest weapons for range. Uh, just because they were on bikes and they don't carry around range weapons really on bikes. Just DC-15C SMGs. So they're getting wiped pretty good by the Mandalorians who do have... Rifles and of course the clone units had rifles on their infantry troopers, but all of them are dead So, you know now it's just the tank operators who are getting absolutely creamed um, I don't think they got a single kill actually well They forced them to heal, but I don't think they concentrated their fire on a single Mandalorian enough to actually accomplish a kill um, So we got what? Two more three more. There's still one trooper way back here three more clones versus a lot of Mandalorians. Um, oh, they're engaging once more. I, c I think we could safely say it's a Mandalorian victory unless these three clones just go absolute ham. I'm not seeing it happen. There you go. There's that second death. There's the third death. So Boba Fett will be moving on to the finals of the battle, and it will be Boba Fett versus Arc Trooper Echo, which I think will be a very, very interesting battle to witness. I hope you guys have been enjoying the Star Wars Mod Tournament. We're coming to a close. One more episode left. Mandalorians managed to take the take the crown here um, in this battle, but not by a lot. Um, Commander Keller's troopers actually put up a very nice fight. First of all, they won the speeder fight. Um, and then there's only like 20, 30, 25 maybe Mandalorians left live. That's an impressive feat by the... Um, by the clones. Way to go, boys. Either way, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you all in the next one. By the way, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Discord, Overtone, all those links in the description. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.